Hi everyone, my name is Manuel Broussard and I will be presenting this webinar today. Um, today we will explain how to enhance the reading experience by uh, adding smart reading and uh, pop-up reflows um, into your documents. Um, so I'll start to show my screen. I have made, uh, I have, I got, um, this is a Nekafada's brochure about uh, digital publishing that I got from our designers and um, I created a, a Navy PDF project with it. So I just imported an existing document, InDesign document, into an AV PDF project. Um, it's quite simple. It only has two pages and uh, some some pictures and a lot of text. So what I want to do, what I have now, is this document here, and you see that. Uh, it's not very easy to read, even if you zoom, um, adapting the zoom to the correct uh, size is not uh, easy to, to use and it's quite, well, it's not really user friendly at all. So what I'm going to do is to add first smart reading. So I'm going back to in design and I'm going to select the text so I'm going to select all the text frames making a multiple selection of all the text frames in my first page and then I choose smart here in the AV interactivity window so here you can see that all my items are already selected but I also want to add the frames from the second page so I just have to click on add item and then click on the select button of the new item and then select the, select the text frame I want I'm going to do that for the other text frames Okay, so now I'm going to publish, generate, it opens, okay, so now the publication is complete and I send it to my, my kiosk simulator So now I have this new publication and when I double click on any text I selected it will automatically zoom in and enhance the, the text from the rest of the document. And I just have to press the following button the next button or the previous to display the text. It also changes the pages automatically. So that is smart reading and I also have this button here to go to the beginning of the article. And can, I can also adapt the zoom to another level of zoom and it will, it will keep this level 
of zoom that is comfortable for the reader. So that's easy, quite easy to put, um, to do actually. Um, I don't think I have um, picked, I have chosen the, the correct document here because uh, I think that uh, uh, smart reading is a lot more efficient uh, with um, text in columns like uh, magazine text or uh, newspaper text. Um, try with uh, with those kind of um, of template, and you will see that uh, smart reading is really really effective and really. Uh, easy to use for the reader and it, it really enhanced the, the reader experience. So now I will go back to InDesign and uh, explain how to create a pop-up with uh, the reflow text, like what we call the reflow. So here I go to the edge, I just kept the, the selection, the text selected here, and I will, I just have to add a tap action and choose show pop-up action, create, here I will choose the full screen pop-up and create the content. You can see here that I have a new panel where I can choose four different types of content for my pop-up. What I want here is reflow. And here you have all the text frames select that I have selected for my smart reading. So, but the difference for, uh, for the reflow is that I have to um, say that um, I have to specify which type of text it is. Is it a, a title, a subtitle, is it the body of the text? Uh, um, you have um, different options here that you can choose. Before doing that, you can change the size of the pop-up. Here, it's a full screen pop-up, so I would put it almost full screen on the iPad. So, the size is in pixels, of course. And here you have the template of the article. Um, and the, it is the template that will um, def uh, that will define how many options you have here. So here I will just differentiate the many text frame. It's typed by title. Automated um, body. So I just have to publish now.
publishing the application complete okay and send it to my cask okay so i just have to close this one and open the new publication so here i still have the smart rigging but uh, it only goes to smart reading if I double tap on it. If I perform a single tap, then I have my, my article in a pop-up. So here I can see that I haven't chose um, the correct uh, template. So the advantage, the, the advantage of this template is that you can change the size of of the the, the characters so and it will automatically adapt the um, it will automatically adapt the text to the size of the pop-up so I will just choose another template to show you because this one wasn't really adapted for this kind of document of brochure that I have here so I'll just change the template here choose caption for example oh okay that's why I didn't find it I missed uh, I just missed a title here so I'm going to add it in the pop-up so to add an item is just like the same as the, the smart reading you just add an item select it and here it appears but you have to put it in the right order so here it is before the AV files and that's the title Yes. Okay, so now we'll publish again. send it to my kiosk. Close this one and open the new one. So now, now you can see that the pop-up is more adapt to the document that I had. But the problem with this Kind of uh, with this template, is that you cannot uh, zoom uh, on the text. You cannot make the the characters bigger. But anyway, it's easier to read. So that's it. That was a short presentation about how to to adapt, to enhance the reader, the reader experience by um, adding a smart reading to your document or adding um, reflow pop-ups to your, to your documents. Um, what I haven't shown is maybe, well, the, the classic pop-up is different, but it is 
similar. I'll just republish to show you the difference bit the difference between full screen pop-up and classic pop-up. I just have to close and open the new one. That's the classic pop-up. It opens. This, there's not many differences at all <laughs> for, for this one. It's just that you can click on the side and it will. Thank you, everyone, for attending. Um, and for uh, your patience with me. And uh, keep an eye on the webinar newsletters. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.